What does it mean to be gay today? It's more than sexual orientation. It's more than the coming out process, although those can be important aspects. Understanding what it means to be gay today requires us to think about what that term even means. What expressions does it afford and affirm, denote and connote? I think to understand what it means to be gay, we need to think about how that term has been sent and received using technology. My research studies how people use tools to construe gay identity. It studies how identities can be constructed, communicated, and understood by others to form links, develop communities, and eventually to lead gay lives. I'm focusing on two historical periods in the West, the end of the Victorian era and the last 10 years. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, that's a huge leap, <laughs> particularly because at the end of the Victorian era, gay was not even an identity category that existed. But by studying the discourse surrounding same-sex desire contained within print and visual media materials of the period, so books, magazines, photographs, we can see how the figure of the homosexual served as a focal point for communicating and defining queer desire, and then how homosexuality could be used to build an identity organized around queerness. So I think there's an important relationship between the tools that are being used and the identities that are being expressed and communicated through them. More to the point, uh, I think in order to understand what it means to be gay today, we need to think about the role played by media and communications technology in sharing gay identities. So, to explore these developments of shared gay identities within the context of modern social media, I'm conducting an interdisciplinary study of two social media platforms, Reddit and Grindr, which is a gay dating app. In the first instance, I'm looking at the media materials shared among a community of roughly 60,000 who have organized around the intersections between gay and game culture. And in the second instance, I'm looking at the images and words used in dating app profiles to define and declare one's gay identity. By exploring these relationships between identity, sexuality, and technology, my research shows how technology are important tools in the everyday processes of understanding and securing an identity. Knowing how these processes are conducted through technology allows for important interventions using these tools to enhance identity formation, not just for gay people, but for everyone. Thank you.